Welcome back to the Monday Injury Report, or should we call it the Sunday Late Night Injury Report. I have to thank Dr. Mark Castamero for um, making some arrangements with me to do it tonight. We're doing it Sunday night, but I am going to release it on Monday morning because I'm going to be away on vacation um, for the week. So, Mark, thank you. I appreciate it, and welcome. No problem, man. Thank you very much. Happy Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. It was a beautiful day. I hope everybody got outside and had some fun. So I am in my um, man cave slash uh, kids playroom. It was supposed to be a man cave, but they took it over <laughs> real quick. Um, and we're about to jump into some some injuries that are um, somewhat concerning. But we, uh, I'll let you I'll let you decide, Doctor Mark. So, Women's World Cup, uh, U.S. We got Alex Morgan and Julie Ertz, both injured. Um, maybe it could be some load management, as you, you said in the pre, pre-show, because they've been up so much in these games. Are you concerned with their injuries moving forward? They're not really giving a ton of information on them, but what are your thoughts on those? Is, it, is there any concern for you, or, and is the U.S. still the favorite? Uh, so I'll answer your second question first. I think U.S. is still a favorite, yes. Um, I think even if those two players didn't play, they have such a deep roster that they'd, they'd still be the favorite. I don't – I mean, Jill Ellis, the coach of the national team, said this this morning actually during a press conference that they're going to be fine, they're going to start, nothing to see here, nothing to worry about. Obviously, it's not nothing or else they would have been, been playing, but I, I do kind of think that they didn't really have a test during that uh, first three games of the tournament. So, you know, they were able to kind of rest some of their players and maybe something came up, a muscle strain or a muscle injury or something like that. Or maybe we don't really know. Maybe they were dealing something with coming into the tournament. So it's something that maybe flared up during those first two or three games. Uh, So, yeah, they weren't in the lineup the last game. Um, I think maybe that was a a precautionary thing. I would expect to see them in the lineup tomorrow. And I would expect them uh, to perform well and and to go on to the next round and, and, uh, you know, play in that uh, quarterfinal game. Yeah. I, I'm gonna have to agree with you on on all the um, all that. I do think that um, you know it could just be something little, but even if they if they couldn't go, I'm still pretty confident with the roster they have. So I'm on the same page with you there. The only other thing really um, going on is we got Raphael Devers, third baseman for the Red Sox, having a a good season. Um, he's got some hamstring tightness, but they said he's not gonna go on the IL. Um, is that co- is it cause for concern, or because they didn't put him on the IL, you think that? Uh, He's going to be okay. Yeah, I think I think exactly what you just said. I mean, he's not going on the injured list. Uh, you know, we, we've talked about this many times with, with baseball, with going back to baseball last year, hockey, basketball, they're very long seasons. Uh, so, you know, when a player is experiencing maybe a little bit of, of tightness, maybe he needs a day off, maybe he's a little dehydrated, staying a little bit hotter. Uh, so they want to make sure that they're doing their due diligence, make sure that they're going to be safe, make sure that, you know, he's going to be there later on in the season when they're really going to need him and they're going to try to make a push for the playoffs. we got the All-Star break coming up in a couple of weeks. So, you know, it's a good good time to maybe get him a couple of scheduled days off and make sure that that hamstring stiffness or tightness doesn't turn into something um, a little bit more serious. We've seen with, you know, some other athletes on the injury report, you know, dealing with hamstring strains can kind of be a chronic uh, couple-month injury. So, you know, if they take good care of him now, make sure that they, they you know, prevent any serious injuries from happening. He'll be there you know, eight, lend, uh, excuse me, late summer and then into early fall, hopefully, as they're making a playoff push. And I think that's the most important time. Yeah, I mean, with how bad they started the season, now they're really starting to, like, you know, make that push to get back in, in, the, in the running. I mean, the Yankees have been injured, but yet they still are, are in first place. So I really hope that, uh, you know, the Red Sox get help, healthy at, at the right time. You know, hopefully they get Nathan Ovaldi back. We can talk about that in the coming weeks. Um, and they can really make that push. So once it gets to late summer, um, uh, you know, they're right, they're right there in the mix. Well, that's all I have for you for tonight, Mark. I appreciate you accommodating me and doing the late night Sunday night injury report. And I hope everybody out there um, enjoys it and have everybody had a safe weekend. If you have any questions about anything we talked about or anybody, like I said, that might be on your fantasy squad or just on your favorite team, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And uh, Dr. Mark and I will get to them next week. Everybody have a safe, fun week. I'll see you when I get back. Thanks, Mark. Peace. Thank you very much, Nick. Have a great vacation. Everyone have a good week. Peace.